So we're using all forms of um, cooking appliances. We've got the microwave going on. We've got the oven. We've got the hob. Whew. I am going to be sweating my tits off. Gotta hydrate. H2O. Hello everyone. Welcome back. Oh, today. E, honestly, I shouldn't wear black. E, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Murray Mint here. How are you? Hope everyone's all right and having a great, great week. So, what's been happening, guys? Can I just say before before we get into it? Could you do me a favour and smash the like button? And if you haven't already subscribed, give us a subscribe, man. How are you? Shan, if you don't. Shan. Right. So, basically, my friend, Andrew, he came over and we had a little, a little look at some of the things that are available from Sainsbury's. Um, yeah. Shall we have a look? Hi, guys. Welcome. So we're going to do a bit of a cookery session. So I mean, I like meat, obviously. Um, I'm a, a, a real meat lover, but you know, I'm open to new things, new suggestions. Andrew, who's behind the camera, the gimbal, um, he has come and he brought us some lovely, lovely dishes. Now some are very similar to the old meat. Some are very sinister in size. We have got Smoked hot dogs. Andrew, where are these from? Are these from Sainsbury's? Yeah. Sainsbury's. So these are your smoked hot dogs. Absolutely dying to try these. Maybe it's not eat them, but you know. Um, so we've got those. We've also got lightly seasoned chicken style strips. Now, can you see them there? Lovely them. A little bit, oh, I'm not too sure of that one. But you know, we can see how they cook, see how they cook. Right, the other one we've got for after, which I've got to say is my favourite, is Five Millionaire Shortbread. Now, this comes with good authority that it is very, very nice. Andrew is a little bit of a diabetic fiend and he loves the sweets. So I'm excited to get through the main course so we can get to that. Okay, I've washed my hands. So, oh, and Twitter. Wait, I've got two more. So, good old Gregory's. Now, I, I'm allowed to finger the food because I'm eating it. There's two, there's two sausage rolls here. One is vegan and one is normal. Now there's a bit of a problem because I forgot which one's which. So I'm gonna have to kind of test that out and make sure, because Andrew's not a sausage lover. Well, he is a sausage lover, but he's not one for eating meat. So you know what I mean? Okay, so we'll, we'll come to that at the end. And I'll put them in separate bags because we don't want any cross-contamination. Right. I mean, I don't know how that works with cross-contamination. Does that mean, like, because with meat, you can't you can't obviously touch certain meats together, can you? Because you die. So, like, is that the same with vegan stuff? Like, leave a comment, let us know, because I'm, I'm a bit unsure. Anyway, this is another one which I'm a little bit scared of because it's made of mushrooms. I did have an incident with a magic mushroom when I was 19, um, which didn't go to plan. So I'm a little bit skeptical that it might kick the magic mushrooms back in. So let's hope not. Okay. Right, so we'll start with the chicken strips. These are by Artisan. Um, you can get them from Sainsbury's. Um, and these are, from, oh, you can do the, I'll tell you how you can do them. So you can do them by cooking. Oh no, you, you've got to cook them. So, oh, stupid. Right, we're there. We're there. So, this is upside down, so you, you'll have to read that upside down. Sorry, right. 
So you can cook in the oven to take five to six minutes. Might as well just said six, really, shouldn't I? Um, or you can do them under the grill exactly the same time. So should we do them in the oven? Because uh, it'll be easier. Uh, so I've got my, I've got it, I've got it. Oh, that's how I like to open things. Straight in, then no muck in the boots. Now, oh, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, what does it smell of? I mean, to be honest, when you you know when you open chicken and it's that smell of like dicing with death, it's like it just hit, comes over you and hits you and it's like I'm definitely getting food poisoning by the time I've ate this. Well, it's not like that, so that's good. So that's a good start. So I'm going to put it in my glass bowl that I prepared earlier. Now, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm a recycler. So I'm going to recycle that. Because I love the turtles. Right, okay, so it's going in the oven, guys. Oh! Fire! Fire! Oh! Oh! Right. Well, I really should do that oven out, but anyway. I mean, oh yeah, it has 100, 180, guys. I don't know about you guys, but with chicken, I always burn it and cremate it. So I'm quite tempted to do the same with these, but I'll, that's probably defeating the object, so we won't. While that's cooking, let's get things ready for these bad boys. This is probably a bit big, isn't it, this wok? Yeah, I think the wok's a bit big. Um, would you say we need a frying pan, Andrew? Um, frying pan, please? Yeah, that one might be a bit small. That's what he said. No, I think we can get, we can just fit that in and slide that in. It might touch the rim, but I think we can get that in. I really should read these before we start. Um, so cooking in a frying pan, that's not a frying pan. So you've got to place sausages in boiling water and bring back to the boil. So what I'll do, I'm going to go over to the sink area and I'm going to, very technical in this house. Try not to, try not to touch the water. Don't want any third degree burns. Oh! So we'll just let that boil. And then we'll shove these in, put that in the air. Uh, while we're doing that, we'll just get come back to the magic mushroom, um, this. So love your veg. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't like mushrooms, but, you know, Andrew is one of these vegan guys, so he will eat it. So let's put it in the microwave. So we're using all forms of, um, cooking appliances we've got the microwave going on we've got the oven we've got the hob Whew, I am gonna be sweating my tits off I'm just I'm just hoying it in you should probably pierce it otherwise it might explode <laughs> God, it's hard to just pierce both sides oh I think I nearly went up there Never mind, that's fine. Um, okay, so that's for five minutes. Let me know your favourite vegan dishes below because I'm very interested. But while we're waiting for everything to cook, I'm going to try some of these sausage rolls. Little plate there. What does that mean? One's got more of a serrated edge, ribbed for extra pleasure. Um, here goes. I think I know which one's vegan. And I know which one's. Right. Oh. <laughs> right. There's definitely some sort of chunkiness going on with this one. There's like bits of something in it. So I don't know what that bit is. And that the one on the left is a lot more smoother. So, but, but, I mean, it's all in the taste. 
it's on the taste, Andrew. Right. Good, good. It's a bit like stuffing. Definitely the vegan one, that one. I'm going to try this one, see how it compares. Mmm! Mmm! To be honest, the vegan one has got more taste. I'm definitely going for that one. So, the vegan one's got it up to now. We'll set that aside because the, the pack come back to that. There's too much sausage in this place, I'll tell you. Oh! Oh, very lubricated, these are very smooth. So I'm hoping for good things, right? Yeah. Now you don't want to you don't want to get a splash back. So be careful. <laughs> now are those in brine? Because what is brine? Brine. Oh, oh, oh! We've got another dish ready. Oh! So I haven't got a tea a clean tea towel. So I'm going to use some boxer shorts I got for Christmas. Thank you to whoever bought me their box of shorts. I will still use them, probably tomorrow. I'll let them cool down and I'll get a plate and then we'll try those as well. I mean this plate is from 1963. It's definitely me nana's. Right, so well, we need some utensils. Right then? I mean Oh, they, they, there's them two that were stuck together. Not, not a fan of them ones. I'm, I'm gonna have a couple of these. See what? I, hey. Hmm. What plant is this made out of? It says with these you meant to. You can use them with salad, stir fries. Um, oh, there's a mic, let that cool down. Um, you can use them in salad, stir fries. Um, on their own, they were a little bit cardboardy. But, I think it's a sandwich or a salad, if you like, like that type of thing. I think, yeah, go for it. Right, I didn't put any um six minutes for the for the the hot I can't believe I'm not a hot dog. Okay, six minutes for those guys. So in the meantime we'll get out the shrooms, alright? Oh holy shit! Oh that's good because normally they get bit off, don't they? Oh that mashed potato looks gorge! See, that's what I think with vegan stuff. I, I half expected that and that, but it's quite dry. Do you know what I mean? It's like a, a, you think everything's going to be dry, but hello. Then you come across this. I mean, granted, it is made by mushroom with mushrooms, so that's the kind of downside, but I'm going to try it. Oh, this actually looks really nice, to be honest. Really nice. Ready? I'm going in. Right, for me, the mash is lush, but the sausage is not. It's not for me that sausage, like, I, I, I'm not fussy on sausage. No, I agree really, to be honest. But, no. I'm going to try it one more time because I feel like I haven't given it a 
good no bad. Ooh. It's got a strange texture. Maybe you can get used to it. I'm not sure. I can't. Hot dogs! Oh, they've really risen on the mental rise. Oh no. <laughs> they've got brine on them, they've got that thing, you know, that scum stuff. I don't know how I feel about that. But I'm going to get a different knife and pork. I think this might be my favourite for the, sauce, uh, the hot dog. But it's not made out of mushroom, this is it. Oh. And I get a bun. Ooh. So these are vegan buns as well. These are made by our oh, Sheldon's, which is my dog's name. Uh, these are made by Sheldon's. Vegan food makes my nose run a bit, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if that's like a side effect. Oh, that's good, it's already cut. You just love it when they're already cut. Right. Oh, oh they're very flaccid. Very flaccid, these. Good size for bun, bun ratio. That is perfect, isn't it? And then actually made for them. Oh, look at that. This is like, oh. Oh, there's the dog. No, you're not getting any of it. He's not real meat. Like, I don't know if you can see inside the hot dog. So it's not really the same. It's similar. I mean, I'm 10 out of 10 for like, trying to like make it look exactly like. Yeah. It's all got that, you know, that one thing missing, like meat. Um, but if you can get past the not having meat in it, then you're really gonna go up. The, actually, the bun's really nice. Oh, that feels something's in on fire. Ugh. Ooh, to me. Look right there. Them are nice. Them are nice, actually. Mm. Mm. Hope I haven't got food in my beard. My gin royal. The royal family. Right. So, apparently, according to Andrew, these are vegan. I just have a little, just now. Just cleaving the palate. Right there. Right. So these bad boys, these are everything free. Gluten free. And I bet they're not sugar free. Right there. No, sugar is actually the main ingredient, so really good for vegans, rubbish for diabetics. Keep them away from the hot dogs and the melt. Oh, it's a dark chocolate. That looks suspiciously like dark chocolate to me. Mm. Oh my God. I've never wanted to be gluten intolerant in all my life. These are lovely. Mm. So there you have it guys. We've got all this lovely food. All very edible. Don't listen to people who say it's not edible, it is. Because some of it's a little bit dry, it might rip your mouth open, but you know, none of this has. I definitely recommend the Greg's sausage roll. I love the hot dog, and that mash is beautiful. The mushroom sausage, not for me. Everything else, it's a go. I hope you've enjoyed your little trip into my kitchen. Please come back. So, there you have it guys. Are you a vegan?
please, please comment below. Write us a message and tell us what your favourite food is. Um, because I am slowly, slowly um, going to phase out some meat products in favour of the vegan. Hopefully next week I'll have my hair cut and um, I'll look a lot fresher. So that'll be good for everyone, won't it? Because I'm sick of looking at myself in the mirror. And I'm sure you're sick of looking at my roots. But I am growing my colour out. So just to keep you updated. But yeah, if you haven't already, give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, give it a like. Please subscribe. Um, it means the world to me. And I'll see you next week. Oosh.